Welcome to That's Pretty Cool News, a news program where we look at things that make you go, huh, that's pretty cool. Here's your host, Scott. Welcome to this first ever episode of That's Pretty Cool News. Will there be a second one? Well, who knows? But enough of that. Let's get to the episode's story. Because folks, we're getting a second moon. A second moon, what does that mean? Where is the new moon coming from? How big is the new moon? How long will it stick around for? And will we be able to see it? All these questions answered and more in this episode. But first, what even is a moon? Earth, for the most part, has one moon. It's that big thing that comes out at night time and also sometimes during the day. It's many billions of years old and came to be long before any life on Earth started popping up. We aren't certain how the moon came to be, but the prevailing hypothesis is that young Earth was hit by another early planet about the size of Mars that we've named Theia, which saw a huge amount of Earth stuff and Theia stuff shoot off into space, which then gathered and became rounded and has orbited Earth ever since. But other planets have moons too. Mars has two, albeit they are both much smaller and less round than our moon, and the gas giants Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune have got many moons each. What makes a moon a moon? To be a moon, there are really two criteria. It needs to orbit a planet and it needs to be natural. They are natural satellites. Our moon is not a space station and it orbits Earth, so it's a moon. The International Space Station orbits Earth, but it's not a natural object, so it's not a moon. Some astronomers also put a further clarifier on what a moon is, and that is it needs to be over a kilometre across, which makes sense as there are some very large objects within the rings of Jupiter and Saturn. And if we started identifying and classifying them as moons, we'd have not a list of hundreds of moons, but possibly thousands of moons. And guess what? We're getting another one. Where's this new moon coming from? Some moons, like our moon, are the result of massive collisions from earlier in a planet's existence. Other moons are asteroids that get caught by a planet's gravity and begin to orbit. And that's the case for our new moon. It's called 2024 PT5 and it usually hangs out in the asteroid belt and usually orbits the sun. But it has traveled at just the right speed and distance and angle from Earth that we've been able to capture it. If an asteroid goes too fast, it can't get caught. And if it's too far away, it won't be captured either. So an object needs to be traveling at less than 3,600 kilometers an hour and has to be within four and a half million kilometers. And lucky for us, 2024 PT5 met both of those criteria as we got near enough to draw it into our orbit recently. Does that mean we're going to have it forever? Not at all. This is only a temporary moon. It will be in orbit from September 29th to November 25th in 2024. And when I say orbit, I do mean orbit, but it's only going to do about a quarter of the orbit of Earth before we lose it, and it goes back to something of its usual orbit around the sun. So it'll make a bit of a horseshoe shape and then go on its way. How big is our new moon? Our usual moon, it's almost three and a half thousand kilometers across. It's pretty large, nowhere near the size of Earth, but it's pretty big. Is our new moon of a similar size? No. 2024 PT5 is about 11 metres, yes, metres across. So it's about the size of a bus. It could be a little bigger or smaller. It's hard to measure, it turns out, but it's not going to be much bigger or much smaller. Will we be able to see the new moon? Our usual moon is almost three and a half thousand kilometres across and is, on average, 384,000 kilometers from Earth. That's a long way, but because of its size, we can still see it. Our new moon will be a little further away, 4.2 million kilometers. So it won't be like trying to spot a bus on the moon. It'll be more like trying to spot a bus that's 10 times further away than our moon is from us. There are only a handful of telescopes that will be able to even get a glimpse of it at all. And it's just too small, too far away for our naked eyes to see. Do we need to be worried about the new moon? Not in the slightest. In fact, this kind of thing happens every couple of years. So much so that we have a term for it. These are called mini moons. It's when an object gets caught in a temporary orbit around a planet before being shot back into space again. 
So for a couple of months this year, you'll be able to look out at space and your friend will say to you, look at the moon and you'll say, which one? There are two and your friend will be confused because even with the best amateur telescopes available, they will have no hope of seeing the second one at all. And that's the end of the news. It's pretty cool to think that we're getting a second moon, albeit briefly and it's gonna be tiny. <laughs> Let me know what you thought of the video in the comments below and with the like button. And who knows, maybe there'll be more pretty cool news in the future. Please feel free to subscribe to That's Pretty Cool where I make more videos on topics that inspire in me a sense of curiosity and wonder. Thanks again for watching, take care, stay curious, and I'll see you next time.